I'm going to give you five steps to scaling a real company right now over the next couple minutes. I promise I would wrap up short. Step number one, five steps to actually scaling a company. Number one, you need to get known. People need to know who you are. I can tell you five and a half years ago, no one knew who we were. Now we have hundreds of thousands of insurance agents following us, not because I'm any better than anybody else. Maybe I'm better looking than most people. That's okay, right? That's at least what my wife says. But however, it's simply because I was putting out content consistently. Like if you want to get known, could you get known? Truthfully, if you wanted to get known, could you get known? If you wanted to get known, could you get known? That means most people don't want to. Or don't know how. There you go. That's a good answer. Professional versus an amateur. Number two. Attract. You need to get to where you are attracting people from everywhere. Prospects and agents, by the way. You think Josh attracts people? You think Brian Askins attracts people? You think Tom Hegna attracts people? Right? You think Josh Burns attracts people? And you're going to attract a lot of the wrong people, by the way. So you've got to weed those out because that'll cancel everything out that you got going on. Number three, higher up. Higher up. For example, our team who's right here right now, Nick's VP of sales, Dylan's head videographer, Brett's in charge of media, Cassie's in charge of social events, Andy is my COO. A good amount of our team is here helping because this event and pulling this off for SIG and all of our team and all the agents that are here is extremely important. Andy found me, but what I didn't know is after he found me, he was offered an assistant coaching position for baseball with Villanova. Would your team members choose you over Villanova? That's the real question. Do you regret a second turning down Villanova? Why not? And where we're going. Get your team on board with your vision, your mission, where you're going. Like, what is your mission statement? Ours is to help every insurance agent in the world. You need people on board with that. So you've got to hire up, which is number three. Number four, know your numbers. We do a profit and loss on our salespeople every single month. Know your numbers. I met with a gentleman doing a, making $160 million a year at an event that I paid for. And we were up late talking, and I was asking him questions because I'm always very inquisitive. And we've got, the white, we've got this whiteboard up, and we're whiteboarding our companies and going through the organizational structure of our companies. And he's like, okay, who does this? I'm like, I do. Okay, who does this? Uh, me. Who does this? Me. Who does this? Me. Who does this? Me. Who does this? Me. Does this sound familiar, by the way, to anybody? Who does this? Me. Who does this? Me. Who does this? Me. He's like, that's your problem. You can't do it all. He's like, why do you even do it all to begin with? I said, because I'm the best at all of it. He's like, that's another problem. Your ego is getting in the way of your success. He's like, you want to hire people that are better at certain positions than you are. That's why every time we hire someone between SIG, SAM, and CA, we have a, over 100 staff, by the way. Every time we hire people, we ask them. I have Andy ask himself when he's interviewing them, do they make our team worse, the same, or better? And if they do not make our team better, we don't hire them. This ain't a charity. This is a company. This is a business, right? We're trying to go places. Some of you need to fire some people on your team right now, by the way. Is it a business or is it a charity? Are you professional or are you an amateur? Number five, think bigger. The number one thing that struggled, that I struggled with up until the last three years was thinking bigger. And I can tell you now, I'm still not thinking big enough because everything I write down comes true. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like the fairy godmother or something. What's going on over here? 
Because if you write it down long enough, you will have it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's dude that you want to give a million dollars to charity at, at, a, at a gala. I don't care. You, do, you write it down long enough, you will find a way for it to become reality. I have a couple questions in closing. Who wants to be more successful than you are today? If I brought the most successful, wealthiest people in the world from around the world on this stage right now, and they said to do something, who would listen to them? Who would actually do it, by the way? I mean, it's good that you're raising your hands, but most of you wouldn't. That's the problem. If they said, do this, who would do it? You're like, well, it depends what it is. Does it really depend what it is? If they said to write down your goals every single morning to start your day, who would leave starting tomorrow morning, maybe starting now so you can count today, actually writing down your goals every single day? If the, if the most successful people on the planet said to do it, who would actually do it? That's the difference between someone being serious and casual, being a professional and being an amateur. I can tell you, Grant Cardone, Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Bill Gates. Do I need to name any more names? Guess what they all say to do? Write down your goals every single day. But nobody ever does it because we're casually floating through life. We're not picking it up. We're not waking up and we're not doing whatever we can to succeed at our highest level. Even if you won't do it for you, do it for somebody else. Because I can promise you, it's not about the money for me. It's not about doing X or this or that. It's just that simply as an entrepreneur, I enjoy the journey of trying to do a lot and accomplish a lot. Last question. If you allowing me to coach you for the next 12 months on some level or some form, if I could guarantee you it would change your life forever, who would actually do it? Seriously, though, who would actually do it? Because I can tell you it will. David Camper, does it help your business? Joshua Young, says it help your business? That's the difference between professionals and amateurs being serious and being casual. I want you to look back in 10 years and not recognize the person that you are today. But it's gonna be decisions that you make in this moment to decide what's actually happening for you in 10 Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it. See you, in there. you generate a ton of inbound leads from social media, from Facebook, mm -hmm. organically, okay. like referrals friggin' galore. Mm -hmm. You are the king.